Hello everyone. Welcome to E-Classes by Dr. Adira. Today's topic of discussion is Shedding or Exfoliation of Deciduous Teeth. Shedding or Exfoliation is a physiological process that leads to elimination or loss of deciduous teeth. This process takes place by resorption of roots of deciduous tooth and its supporting periodontal ligament. After shedding or exfoliation of the primary tooth, the permanent successor tooth erupt into position and thus permanent dentition replaces the primary dentition. What is the need for two dentitions? You all know, once formed, teeth will not increase in size, but the jaws continues to grow. So the larger jaws of adults require larger teeth as well as more number of teeth. Not only jaws, masticatory muscles also strengthen as the individual grows thereby increasing the masticatory forces. The primary teeth cannot withstand this greater masticatory forces in adult as well. That's why primary dentition has to be shed off and replaced by permanent dentition. Now let's see what are the patterns of shedding. It differs between anterior and posterior teeth because anterior permanent successor teeth that is the permanent canines and incisors are located lingual to their primary predecessors and posterior teeth is that the premolars are located between the roots of primary molars as this I have discussed already in the video of tooth eruption. So in anterior teeth, permanent teeth is present lingual to their deciduous predecessor. As permanent successor to germ grows, it will naturally exert pressure on the adjacent primary tooth. As you can see here, the permanent tooth germ is located lingual to the root of its primary predecessor tooth. As the permanent tooth germ grows, it exerts pressure onto the lingual side of the root of primary predecessor tooth. This pressure will cause the resorption of root starting from this lingual aspect. As the resorption continues and resorption is two third complete, the primary tooth will lose its support in the socket and it will be shed off or it will be exfoliated. After exfoliation, the permanent tooth germ erupt into the position. But in posterior teeth, since the successor teeth are located between the divergent roots of primary molars, as the tooth germ grows, it exerts pressure on the inner surface of the roots and resorption start on the inner surface of roots of this primary molars and as resorption is two-third complete there will be shedding of primary molars and eruption of permanent successor teeth which are premolars. Moving on to the histology the cell causing tooth resorption is known as odontoclast. You have heard of osteoclast which causes resorption of bone. Odontoclasts are osteoclast only by its origin and structure. Only this is named so because it causes resorption of tooth. So similar to osteoclasts, odontoclasts originate from circulating monocyte and structurally it is a multinucleated giant cell. During resorption, the odontoclast possesses a ruffled border as you can see here and on the surface of tooth root that gets resolved, there will be formation of resorption lacunase and these cells are termed as cementoclasts when they resorb tooth cementum and they are termed as odontoclasts when they resorb root dentin. That is the odontoclasts are referred with respective names as they resorb particular structure and in this h &E diagram you can see the multinucleated giant odontoclast resorbing the surface of root of tooth and there is formation of resorption lacunase here. Now, let's see few mechanisms of shedding. As we have discussed already, the pressure exerted by the growing permanent tooth causes resorption of primary tooth by odontoclast. This mechanism is supported by the fact that odontoclasts appear at the predicted sites of pressure. For example, they appear on the lingual surface of roots in case of primary anteriors since permanent tooth germ is present lingual to it. So as resorption of primary tooth root by odontoclast continues, the root length decreases 
the surface area for attachment of periodontal ligament which holds the tooth in the socket decreases and there is less support to tooth leading to its shedding or exfoliation another probable mechanism is the increased masticatory stress exerted by the growing jaw on the deciduous tooth as jaws grow the masticatory muscles strengthen and the masticatory forces are more the periodontal ligament of the deciduous tooth fails to sustain this increased masticatory stress which leads to its exfoliation or shedding finally there can be definite genetic factors that can control the process of shedding as the resorption of periodontal ligament tissue may be caused by its apoptotic cell death apoptosis refers to the phenomenon of cell death by normal physiological process or you can understand it as developmentally or genetically programmed cell death so this is all about the pattern histology and various mechanisms of shedding thank you for listening